one of my favorite bolo. Be on the lookout for items in the resale market at the moment is a glass brand called Glassy Baby. They make votive candle holders in all different colorways. But really, the only way to tell if you have a Glassy Baby is to check for the birthmark on the bottom. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. It's a beautiful Wednesday morning and we are here at the Goodwill at Rainbow and Cheyenne here in Vegas. I've got a few specific things to look for today. The first is a wooden cross that one of my subscribers wants to add to her outdoor display. The second is Polish pottery, uh, the Boleslavic um, pottery that is blue and white with some other colors is very very popular at the moment and many of many of you have asked me to look out for bowls and plates and bakers so without further ado let's go inside and see what they have let's go thrifting I want to say thank you so much to everybody who leaves comments on my videos. I may not always respond, but I do read each and every one of them. Also, many of you have asked me what I put in my hummingbird feeders. feeders. It's a very simple sugar solution of four parts water to one part sugar. The water can be tap water as long as it's safe for humans to drink. Um, it's safe for the birds. One thing I would recommend is using at least half hot water to ensure that all the sugar is dissolved. Here we are, let's grab a cart. The Halloween section is growing trip by trip, as you can see. But let's head on back to the hard goods to see what they have. Our color of the week, as you can see, is still gray. I'd also like to give a big shout out thank you to Joe of I'd Flip That on YouTube. Joe let me know that someone has been impersonating me on Facebook. Not only had they created a Thrifting Vegas page, but uh, they've been posting my YouTube videos there. So if all of a sudden you are not following Thrifting Vegas, please do go in and follow uh, my official page. It has my Thrifting Vegas banner at the top as well as my picture. This is my official Thrifting Vegas page on Facebook. And this is the fake page, which hopefully by the time you're watching this has been removed from Facebook. Here we are in the hard goods section, so let's have a look and see what we can find. First off is a mini little fairy tale fox, as I like to call them. This one is smaller than the ones I usually find. He's made of resin, only 99 cents. Great condition, no damage. Here's the little cat. She has broken flower petals, but behind her is a penguin. It's actually quite similar to the fox. $2 on this fellow. Let's pop both of these carefully into our cart. I've got my blankets uh, in there and my reusable shopping bags underneath for extra cushioning. Let's see what else. This has little bunny rabbits all over it in relief. It's absolutely lovely, actually. I wonder what it is. Charleston Soap and Candle Company is one of the two, isn't it? Let's grab that as well. And keep going. A bag full of wooden camels here. Five dollars on those some pottery what else boxes votive candle holders pedestal cake stand here is a very large ceramic poodle 
a modern piece from home goods quite lightweight and not ever such good quality so we'll leave that i'm not sure what this is is that some sort of um fondue warmer possibly here is the doll shelf lots and lots of dolls they seem to have thinned out the collection a bit there's a little bookend here is it it's a house for five dollars sadly missing its chimney there so we'll have to leave that some vases figurines this is a lovely lady four dollars as I look though I think she's missing something she was holding possibly an umbrella What's this? Oh, these are bulbs. I'm not sure what they're for, but I'm going to need both hands to pop them safely back into the box. Let's keep going. I'm checking up high on the top shelf to make sure I don't miss anything. There's a box here. I think this might be a candle kit that we've looked at before. I think it is. Now it's got some little letter beads in it as well moving down into the clear glass we've got some bath bombs here this is a fun piece it is a wish ball you roll up your wishes on little slips of paper and pop them into the hole at the back there i've also in the past used mine for kids christmas wishes and lists the kids roll up their christmas wants and pop those in as well somebody suggested that i pick up these uh, shades they are vintage there are five of them for two dollars a piece but sadly they don't sell very well for me so i am going to leave them for somebody else here's a little uh, souvenir doll she's a bit worse for wear so i'll leave her as well some baggies here i think these are uh, wedding cake toppers i see a wedding stamp and a cable car san francisco this is a stein looks like a souvenir piece a little bit unstable and very chipped unfortunately it's a trinket box with flowers missing petals that's such a shame here is the wooden cross we were talking about it actually appears to be it's not resin i think it is a ceramic piece possibly it does have some damage but it's only a couple of dollars so we are going to pop it into the cart and keep going here down on the bottom we've got some bowls plastic here a few christmas ones this is a brass and black vase not ever such good quality that the rest of that aisle was very busy so we have hopped over to the kitchen bits to see what we can find this is a lovely swirled pitcher very modern but i do like the green tint to that all sorts of clear glass let's see trinket boxes and carafes bowls and jars tart dishes and plates oh this is the picture that matches my little bowls it is still here and i said last time if it was still here i would grab it so let's get this into the cart it matches my set and see what else there is here this is a lovely mug you actually pop your hand in it like that to hold it it's really nice and comfy but unfortunately a massive crack down the front of it 
Some little trinket dishes. What's this fellow? He's a polar bear with sunglasses. Oh, I think he's a little appetizer snack guy. You put your toothpicks in there uh, with appetizers on them, olives or cheese and pineapple. Really fun piece that. So he will go into the cart. It's a chef in a barrel here. It's a sugar canister. It's quite an interesting piece. He looks like he hangs on the wall as well. <laughs> We've got bottles here, a modern little creamer, napkin holders. This is a tea bag and spoon holder. Making our way down more bowls if i seem to be squished into the shelf <laughs> i am because there are lots of people wanting to pass by behind me this store is very very busy today so um bear with me if i am close in on these shelves that's a pampered chef little pedestal lots of clear glass today as you see making our way into the pots and pans here and into the travel mug section. This is interesting, Chandon. So this is essentially a wine travel mug. Look at these, two teapots. And I believe this is a canister with Noah's Ark on it. I absolutely love the berry design on this piece. It's just gorgeous. It's a lovely condition. Oh, it's Andrea by Sadik. So we'll grab that for $5. Look at this. It has a trinket box closure up here. Lots of lovely butterflies. Beautiful piece. This is Formalities by Baum Brothers. I think we will get both of these $5 a piece. Carefully into the cart they go. It's great to have my reusable shopping bags underneath the blanket to provide some extra cushioning there. This one will go in too. And we'll keep going to see what else we can find here. Some bakers under here is a leaf, it looks like a project piece. That looks like Le Creuset, but isn't. Oh, look at this gorgeous piece. A vintage pepper mill. It's marked Italy. The bottom is metal. It's absolutely gorgeous. These sell ever so well for me. The older, the better. Really lovely old piece, that. What else can we find? Baking sheets and cookie cutters. Some more pots and pans down the bottom there. Glass bowls. As many of you know, pots and pans just aren't my favorite. So unless I see something really exciting that catches my eye, uh, I tend not to shop too heavily in this section. We've got some teapots and kettles over here. More travel mugs. This looks interesting. Worth a look. Uh, that is a modern piece from Portugal. Let's see. What's this up here? It feels like a tray, but the shape is very interesting. So let's have a look. Just a plain green tray. It just occurred to me that that lovely berry teapot we found in the kitcheny bits might come with cups. So we are round the corner in the mug section with our fingers crossed having a look. Ooh, somebody asked me why I don't pick up Talavera Mexican pottery mugs. This might be what they were talking about. It's a Talavera design, but a very contemporary, inexpensive and chipped <laughs> mug. Down here 
is a mug with dogs on it. Look at the illustrations of these puppies. They're all different. It's $2. Absolutely lovely. This is definitely going to be added to our treasures. There we go. Let's keep going. Oh, here's another Talavera style mug. This one, again, very contemporary, um, a modern piece. What else can we find here? All sorts of shapes, sizes, and sets. Sadly, that one has a big crack. What are these in the box? An advertising piece, possibly for a bar, I think. One of my favorite bolo, be on the lookout for items in the resale market at the moment is a glass brand called Glassy Baby. They make votive candle holders in all different colorways. But really, the only way to tell if you have a glassy baby is to check for the birthmark on the bottom. I'm actually really surprised that this is not a glassy baby. It's marked Mikasa under the label, uh, but it's gorgeous. It's a gold glittery design with black. So we are going to pop that in the cart anyway. Here's a set of four lovely vintage mid-century gold rimmed wine glasses. They're $3 a piece, but sadly they just don't sell so well. Here's an example of a copy of Glassy Babies. As you can see, they're flash painted. The base is clear. Two of those there, not worth ever so much. Let's see, anything else? Here we are in the vases, planters and florals. Having a look, here's a sweet little cobalt blue bud vase. And a larger one here with an optic swirl. Both of these are modern florist pieces. They're very lightweight, not marked on the bottom. I think somebody had a party with these as centerpieces. There's four more down here. That's a sconce. Another larger piece that probably went on the main table. All sorts of clear. This is lovely. Again, a florist pieces. That one had bubbles in it. Moving into the colored glass planters and pots here. More cobalt. Some red and yellow there. Ooh, this pink one is pretty. Oh, and <laughs> that's plastic. Did you see it shoot up in the air? Here's a piece of Mexican pottery. I think this is a souvenir piece here. It's quite pretty. I'm just not too crazy about that. This looks like a Laura Ashley pattern. And over here is a sweet little bud vase. I do like this one. Hand painted $3. Love the colors on that. It's in really nice condition, no chips or cracks. Let's pop that into our cart. There's a perfect little spot just down there and we will keep going. I have noticed these two green glass vases and I have a mini black light keychain on my purse. So I thought it would be fun to just check to see if by any chance these light up uh, with uranium content. They do not, unfortunately, but it was fun to check. Lots of ceramic plant pots here. Some glass. I do like the shape of this green vase back here, but uh, very contemporary, inexpensive piece. Checking up top, some baskets and pots. Let's see. 
silk plants. Somebody just popped that lemon wreath back. I think she changed her mind. This is a lovely big glass piece, amber glass, very, very heavy that. I don't think it is uh, art glass, but it is quite stunning. Sadly, a big chip on the rim, so that makes my decision for me. We will leave it. Up top, this piece is becoming a celebrity in my videos. Silver plated basket for $25. Oh, look what we have here. This is a safari patchwork piece. It's a vase. It's $6. Has some flowers in it uh, and tape across, but those are easily removed. That is a great find. Safari Patchwork sells ever so well for me. It's quite exciting. I just want to have a look at this silver plate piece. Some of you asked how to tell silver from silver plate. It, uh, silver will say sterling or 925. And silver plate will almost always say uh, silver plate or... Um, electroplated nickel, silver plate, something like that. This also, silver plate, some wall decor there. This is interesting. It's got a cutout pattern on it. Two dollars. And I think this is, yeah, it's electroplated nickel. These are outdoor uh, wall decor, I believe. I think they match the pieces I have in our garden. So those are going to go underneath the cart. We'll pop that back and keep going in the metals. As you can see, you just never know what you're going to find. So it's definitely worth checking every single shelf. Got some hooks there, sconces and baskets, plant pots. Here's a tiered titbit tray. It looks like somebody has made this. What else can we find? Tins and metal buckets. Wire baskets. Not sure what those are. Candle holders possibly. Ooh, what is this? This is a candlestick. It looks like somebody has spray painted it, but I want to say this is a very old piece. Look at that uh, screw there. I love the weight of it. And I do actually like the look. It has a very weathered uh, patina to it. Let's pop that into our cart That's somewhere where it's not going to squish anything. Just make sure there isn't one more on this shelf. I spotted it from across the way. We're in the toiletries aisle and I have found a safari patchwork trinket box that matches the vase we found earlier. It's absolutely lovely. Two dollars. Let's see. It matches perfectly. I'm so excited. Always check every single aisle. One of my dear subscriber friends, Joshua, frequently sends me wonderful gifts and he sent me a message asking if this lovely Christmas froggy chef was still here the next time I came, if I would kindly pick it up for him. Here he is. I think that mark on his chin is just a fuzzy. Let's see. Yep, there we go. He is all yours. 
Here we are in the lamp section and I have found a little Mickey Mouse ice cream sundae night light. These are battery operated. This one's $3. Let's push the button see if it works. It doesn't go on, but uh, fingers crossed, it just needs some new batteries. We are taking a stroll through the artwork. There's a modern canvas fox there. Over here is a velvet backed penny farthing bicycle made out of looks like brass wire. That's quite interesting, very dusty. I don't know that that would sell ever so quickly, so we'll leave it for somebody else. Most of these are modern prints and canvases. So let's make our way over to the Halloween section at the front of the store. It's October now, so it's always exciting to come and check out the Halloween Boutique. Every time I come, they've added more stock and selection to the displays. I think these are pinned for the wall over here, not for sale. So let's take a look on the shelves to see what they have. This first section is retail bits at full price. They've got some scarecrows and pumpkins, lots of yard signs and fences, wigs and costumes here, inflatable pumpkins, now the next shelf we move into the Goodwill stickered pieces. Oh, these gnomes are also retail. Here's a little countdown to Halloween. Buckets and pails up top. Halloween baskets. Some fabric pumpkins, those are fun. They do need a bit more stuffing, it feels like. All sorts of decor. We got some hats and masks. Many of you told me I should have picked up that doorbell, so I'm gonna keep an eye out for that. Look at this. This looks like it's a Red Sox garden gnome. I'm not sure what he's doing over here, but we are going to pop him into the cart because those sell really, really well for me. We'll keep going here. More yard signs and costumes. It's a big wreath with eyeballs. That's fun. More fabric pumpkins and signs. We actually had the best luck at uh, the Goodwill down south. If you watch that video, I filled my cart with Halloween treasures. That was the Silverado Ranch Goodwill. And uh, we'll have to make a trip back down that way soon because we found some amazing treasure. There's a spiderweb bowl there, candles, more buckets and baskets, all manner of costumes. Here's a ceramic basket, that's quite fun. Let's pop that somewhere where it's not going to get broken. Lots and lots of seasonal items. I just pop the, that basket on the plate. Now I want to look at the plates. They are melamine, pumpkins and fall leaves. An amazing selection of masks, shoes over here. That's terrifying. <laughs> 
hats and goggles. Here on my table is everything we found at Goodwill and a couple of pieces I added. Ziggy is here. <laughs> Let's start over here on this side. First, we have this lovely glass piece. It's actually a wish ball. You write your wishes or things you're grateful for or possibly Christmas list items on slips of paper, roll them up and pop them, pop them through this hole here. And uh, it sits on its flat base as a display. I paid, I think, $2 for that. And I am going to ask $20. Next, we have this lovely bunny candle holder. It's made by Charleston Soap and Candle Company. It actually does have a candle inside. But uh, if you pop something like this in the freezer uh, for a couple of hours, the candle will slide right out. I paid $3 for this. I am going to ask $22. Back here we have our two lovely figurines, our little fairy tale fox, and I just noticed that his little tail looks like a pine cone. <laughs> He's in lovely condition, made of resin. I paid 99 cents for him. And I am going to ask $15. Similarly, our little penguin here. He would make a lovely addition to a winter display. He also in great condition. I am going to ask $15. Next, we have an exciting set here. These two were in my inventory. Safari patchwork giraffes. I believe the designer is Joan Baker. They're absolutely lovely, covered in safari animals. We've got zebras and uh, lions on here. Leopards or panthers, cheetahs. Just gorgeous pieces. And then today I found these two. The first is a trinket box. And what do you know, the main uh, character on here, the main animal is a giraffe. This is lovely. Inside it has, I guess, silky material liner to keep jewelry or precious trinkets safe. And we also have a vase here with similar design. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous set. I paid $6 on the vase. I believe the trinket box was three. And as I said, these were already in my inventory. I am going to ask 22 on the small giraffe, 28 on the large, 25 on the trinket and 28 on the vase. I would absolutely love it if they could go as a set. Um, they're just stunning together, as you can see. Back here, I thought I would include another giraffe I have in my inventory. This is a Joan Baker patchwork pansy. Very hard to find this. And uh, I am going to ask $38 on her. Moving along, we have our beautiful wood pepper mill. This is a vintage piece. It has a metal bottom. It's marked made in Italy. 
bears having a grumble on the floor over there. <laughs> Made in Italy. I paid $2 on that and I am going to ask $35. This, I believe, is a candlestick that somebody has aged. It is painted and they did a really nice job of creating a vintage patina. I think it is actually old though, judging by the screw in the bottom. I would be very curious to know what it looks like under the paint. I paid $2 on that and I am going to ask $18. Next we have teapots. This first little one was one I found last month. It's a little mini cast iron teapot uh, and I am asking $15 on that. These two we found today. This one is Andrea by Sadik. It's a beautiful berry motif here. The lid is very unique. It is flat, no damage as you can see. It's a beautiful piece. I paid five or six dollars for this. I am going to ask $28. This one is actually a trinket box, has a hinged lid here. It has a beautiful butterfly motif with gold. Formalities by Baum Brothers. It does have a little wear here and there, a couple of scratches and a little wear to the top, but in lovely condition, no chips or cracks. I paid $5 for it and I am going to ask $24. Over here is our little Mexican pottery vase. Look at the design on this. Hand painted, raised up, beautiful blues. I know many of you collect uh, blues. I paid $3 for it. There's the signature. I am going to ask $18 on this. This is the cross that um, one of my lovely subscribers wanted to add to her wall decor. Now I believe it is, I believe it's resin with I think it's painted resin. It is a lovely piece. As you can see, it does have a little bit of damage, but I think I could touch that up with some nail polish. It was uh, on sale, just a dollar or two, I believe. And uh, I am going to ask $15. Over here, this might be one of my favorite finds. It's a little polar bear. And in doing research, I found that uh, it was actually marketed to be a um, baking soda freshener for the refrigerator. But as you can see, it works perfectly for little appetizer sticks. I've got two um, caramels on toothpicks here sticking out and if it was full it would look amazing. You could use him how you wish. I paid two dollars for him and I am going to ask eighteen dollars. Back here we have our pitcher that matches these bowls that I pick up whenever I find them just because I love the shape of them. They remind me of Viking glass, the drip teardrop there. The pitcher has the same. Unfortunately, I noticed when I got it home, it does have a chip in the top. I am going to try to smooth that down, but I'm not sorry I bought it because I absolutely love um, that drip design there. Over here is our <laughs> Red Sox Angry Garden Gnome. 
who has a Fenway Park sign. These uh, do really, really well for me. I paid up for him $8, but uh, in the past I have sold these up and above $50 on eBay, just depending on the rarity of the design. This is Joshua's frog. He asked me to um, pick this guy up. It's a peppermint park piece. Lovely decoration for the holidays. So that will be on its way to Joshua. How about this mug? Look at the doggies. They're absolutely lovely. I'm just curious to see and I can't see a German Shepherd on here, so I won't be tempted to keep it. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, I paid $2 on this piece. I am going to ask $18. I was very excited to find this Mickey Mouse um, ice cream sundae nightlight, but unfortunately, even though I changed the batteries, it doesn't work. So you win some, you lose some. It's still a fun collectible. I paid $2.99. If anyone wants it, I shall ask $10. If you are clever at fixing things, you might be able to get it to work. Um, otherwise, I will probably return it to Goodwill because they do um, carry a guarantee on electronic items. Over here we have our two metal pieces. Now these are quite versatile. They have little feet on them. They could be used as a trivet for hot items. They have hangers so you could hang them either inside or even outside uh, on the walls of your house. I paid $3 for these. And uh, I usually ask $25 a piece. I thought I would add this little seal in because he sort of matches the polar bear. He is Artisania Rinconada, a little figurine. There is his mark. Really sweet little fellow. I am going to ask $22. Last but not least, the item that fooled me. I honestly thought I had found a glassy baby. You can see that it has the glass base. In looking at it, see that glass base there? I don't know if you can see it's clear. It's just not quite thick enough for glassy baby. I think the size is not quite big enough. Uh, but it is beautiful. I know some of you collect the gold glitter glass pieces and this would go beautifully with a collection of those uh, pieces and uh, I'm sure it would look stunning with a candle inside. It is nice quality. It is a Mikasa piece. Let me show you the mark again. I paid 99 cents for it. I'm going to ask $12. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our trip to Goodwill and the Hall. If you see anything you're interested in purchasing, please send me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Include your name, your address, the item you're interested in, and your offer. Please be aware I get many offers uh, on these items. So if you really love something, feel free to offer a little bit more than asking price um, so you won't be disappointed. Please stay tuned. I have some fun footage of Bear and Rio, our German Shepherd dogs at Floyd Lamb State Park. They enjoy watching the ducks and geese and uh, romping in the grass, looking at the water. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.
If you watch my channel, you'll know that I'm thrilled to be speaking at this year's Boss Reseller Remix. It's October 16th through 19th here in Las Vegas. If you're a reseller at any level, tickets are still available. This will be my third year, so please join us. It's an incredible experience. If you can't make it in person, be sure to grab your virtual ticket. Get $10 off with my code THRIFTLV. Today, we are all in the car getting ready to go to Floyd Lamb Park for our morning walk. Bear is here. There's Rio. Rio. Are you ready? Bear's ready. Are you ready, Bear? Bear knows exactly where he's going. He's very excited. It's a beautiful morning. We're here at Floyd Lamb Park. The dogs <laughs> have found lots and lots of interesting smells. Come on, guys. Let's go. There he come. <laughs> there. It's nice and cool today, probably about 70 degrees at the moment. Come on, bear, this way, come on, come on. Very excited. There's a spillway over here with some geese. Bear is very excited to take a look. <laughs> Come on, bear. <laughs> she wants to jump in, I can feel it. I'm surprised she wasn't going to deserve that dog right 